Okay, my name is Mohozi Obed, a lecturer at Frontier College. And I'm an international lecturer from Uganda. I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who is looking at me. I want to explain about the quality of Frontier College. The quality of Frontier College is based on the syllabus. We have a special syllabus for everyone who will come and join the Frontier College. Quality starts with the teachers. When you come to Frontier College, you'll find the foreign teachers teaching very well and you'll have to practice the four skills reading, writing, speaking and listening. Practically, the quality is high. Why? Because we give chance to students to make sure that they practice what they learn in class. Practice makes perfect. And when you practice what you have learned, then you have the quality of speaking with foreign people who will come here and try to get the opportunities like getting opportunity for jobs, getting opportunity to have your personal developments. Thank you for listening to me. Come to Frontier College. There is a lot of quality and the quality starts with you. You person, you people out there of any age, of any color, come to Frontier College. There is a quality with a good syllabus to start with. Thank you for listening. Hello everyone over there. I'm by name of Roland Paul Faiser, a senior professional lecturer at Frontier College an international lecturer and a foreign lecturer. Uh, as Frontier College, uh, a very significant institution in our Somalia, we are very opportunistic for hosting international lecturers who are professionally experienced. These are the people who are dedicated to serve relentlessly to ensure that they facilitate our young generation in improving the English language speaking proficiently. They have been in service for a couple of years. Actually, they are the only professional people who can project the very requirement of English language improvement. Please, if you want to discover the greatest opportunity, come and discover it with the most resourceful persons who can give you whatever you want. Please, dare you not to miss, Frontier is welcoming you. Thank you, thank you very much for joining us. Wow. Thank you everyone who is having a look at this program at this moment. I will come you out this program. My name is Wilbur Msime from Frontier College here in Mogadishu, but I come from Uganda from my international university of east africa and uh, whoever is watching me out there, outside there i take this pressure to inform you frontier university doesn't only deal with the colleges around here but it has partnership with a number of universities across the world and one of them that's the international university of east africa where i come from uh, whoever is there watching this program right now I call upon you that for the issue of uh, correct and uh, professional English speaking Frontier College will be your answer so please come when everything is still fresh and new I will come you all to the institution I'll come you all to the college and uh, that's all I have to say thank you and thank you for watching names of Musei Habat uh, by the names of Musei Abbas Sekajugo Muganda I come from Uganda and I am, a, I am a lecturer at the Frontier College and we, we, I come from a university called the International College of uh, the International University of East Africa found in Uganda and I'm a senior lecturer with those ones I uh, with those words I would request everyone who is watching me over there to come at Frontier University and enjoy the goodness of speaking English and learning it Thank you, thank you, thank you. One of the businesses that is done at Frontier College to improve the practicing of English language at Frontier College, we have the Frontier Public Speaking Forum, which is held every Wednesday in the evening in order to improve 
and give a platform for students to have a freedom of speech, to have different topics to argue or give their opinions, basing on issues that are taking place around the world, around the country, in order to improve their English speaking. Frontier College is the only college that has been approved to have a platform for all their students in order to practice in way of enhancing their English language. If you are out there and you are watching us and you want to improve or learn your English language effectively, Frontier College is the only answer. You are highly welcome to the Frontier College and you are highly welcome at Frontier Public Speaking Forum. Thank you. I will catch you there. If you are told you come, you will meet me there. See you when you see me. Uh, very good evening to you and uh, welcome. My name is Mohamed Haji. I am one of the teachers of Frontier College um, and a good example of a graduate. Uh, we are really pleased to um, announce a program which is very rare in East Africa, especially in Somalia, um, an IRETS preparation center here in Frontier College. Uh, we are opening that program so it, it's for everyone who's willing to to take that course i mean we have many students in, in somalia and they go to abroad or maybe any other east, east african countries before the university in any level whether it's you know um, um, undergraduate or maybe postgraduate they are asked to come up one of the very famous and uh, well-known Professional, you know, I, you know, uh, exams, tests. Uh, one of them is IELTS and TOEFL and uh, so how. So we are here to prepare the IELTS preparation here in Frontier. We have the books, we have the teachers, we have a very adequate place that you can really enjoy, an environment that you can practice your language, and as well as a forum that you can always go with. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome any student who is willing to participate in this course as well as any other courses of Frontier College. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, be ready, we're going to start. Hello, Hello. we are starting now. Since 1991, English language has been the talk of the day in Somalia. And in early 2011, there came a school, a institute called Frontier College, which came with the aim of teaching English language to Somalis, those who are residents of Mogadishu. Here we are, we are going to be discussing a slot which has a topic which says, is it possible to learn English language perfectly in Somalia without going abroad? I'm here with uh, critical thinkers, participants, who are experts of English language, Really, they are going to prove to us whether it is possible or it is impossible to learn English language. What you have to do is stay with us through this discussion. Don't move. Uh, we are going to have a question number one, which says, what proves that this branch of Frontier College, which was opened in early, late 2011, is the best college in and out of Somalia? We need to get some factors. Anyone to talk about that and prove to us that really Frontier College is really the best in and out of Somalia? Anyone to discuss or take us through that? You are welcome. Which is the very first point. Uh, before we had such an institution in Somalia in general and especially in Mogadishu, we never used to teach English to English. But however, Frontier started open is the first gate to open uh, to teach a medium of instruction into English and English into English. I think teaching English to English is the very first foundation that Frontier proves its quality. And the next thing I think uh, it's Frontier is a home of preparation, one of the international exams of the world. It's a center which provides and prepares uh, eyelids preparation. I think in, the East, in, in general East Africa, we have only few countries that operate and perform, prepare the islets and the tovil. Frontier became the, first, uh, the very first college, started preparing uh, uh, the method of, 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 of getting the international exams like the tovil and the islets. 
we prepare we prepared a lot of a lot of students uh, some of them they have been to asia to africa or east african countries as well as europe uh, so i can say in somalia here it's a place that we can prepare uh islets one of the english language testing system that you can always have always to be asked when someone went uh goes sorry to one of the uh, developed countries you are asked to find a medium and a point of 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 islets points uh the, the last one i think frontier gave a platform which is absolutely essential which which is very rare in africa in general for example uh freedom of speech we have freedom of speech it's the first institution that performs freedom of expression we found it we established it, uh, a very uh, special uh, club a club which is all about to uh, show and discover a way of asking people their opinions so we brought a clunch uh, uh, you know uh, a clunch of, of, of frontier public speaking forum uh, it's really a good way that we can show people and others the rest of the world especially to Europe and other countries the very best way that they can uh, know that we have the freedom of expression so that forum made a very different the last one it's recruited its graduates frontier gave plenty of opportunities for those who graduated and if you believe me i'm one of them thank you education the tertiary education which is the university so i think there are many people who are like examples who are like uh, what they call ambassadors they go back to the city they tell their grandmothers that they have been to Mordisho and uh, graduated from one of the best universities and uh, as well as they have got a good preparation of english language in frontier so we have a lot of children what will prove the frontier to be the best of the best <laughs> we have paul who's taking us on that everyone has two minutes and particularly to our young citizens uh members over there who are viewing us this is the unreprovable beyond reasonable doubts that the frontier college is taking a lead both nationally as well as internationally it has got uh, evident it has got uh, evidence on the way how we are trying to project it i want to sum it up by highlighting these few and key areas number one the curriculum the curriculum we are using is designed in a way that it is all encompassing it is catering for all the people from different uh, perspectives and dimensions as well of the english language the curriculum is very enriching it is very rich to find to find that uh, whoever goes through this kind of curriculum will find that uh, he's enriched as far as the language is concerned uh, there are so many curricula being projected by different institutions but our curriculum is in its unique way not even special but unique i'm using the word uniqueness it is uh, uncomparable whereby whoever goes through it will find really volunteer courage is flaunting as the name suggests another point uh, we have been uh, globally braced and recognized the staff we are using it is an international staff which is uh, outspoken which is very significant competent professional whatever you could mention it and who are dedicated to foster and project a change in the language of english teaching uh, what makes quality it is how you are planning for it 
as has been quoted before me, since it started, it has been on a very good foundation, which is sustainable and which is undebatable, that whoever uses this strategy can really find English as a, a, can find it at its own peak the way you want compared to other institutions. Lastly, uh, it is believable from the products our students really they are outcompeted. For example, as you see a student from our college, our institution of English, when you compare him or her with any other students around, even globally, you can say, wow, the way how they're articulating their English language, really you can see there is no any other place like Frontier where you can go and learn English fluently and proficiently. Therefore, I call upon every person over there, if you are, to come over and discover the greatest opportunity which has never been discovered ever and ever. This is the time. Thank you very much. Please utilize the opportunity. I want to call and I urge you to clap for the senior of the senior, Mr. Obed. He's going to take us through the same question. What really proves that Frontier is the best? of the best hello i welcome everyone my name is mhos obed uh, and i'm happy to be in this place thank you for coming and you look wow you look great i want to answer the question which is given to me that what proves frontier college to be the best college in somalia Directly, I will answer the question. Number one, the first point is about talent development. Not of the teachers, but of the students. The students develop their talents by getting or doing some roles. Those roles are participation in class. We give chances to the students to participate and ask what they don't know in class. Secondly, we have a special syllabus. Every student must have some specific books whereby you have to develop and practice the four skills of English. Number one, you have to practice the skill of listening. Listening, we have audio and videos uh, for listening. Number two, about the skills. That is writing. There is a way someone has to write. There is a way someone has to learn how to write. Because writing is not our uh, real culture, but we have to learn because this is a foreign language. How can writing help you? Writing can help you to develop yourself, to be confident about what you are going to do in the future. Number three, there is what we call uh, reading. It's a skill which is very important. So Frontier College has all that. We can call it a buffet. The word buffet, you know what it means? So Frontier College is very strong on that. Number two, uh, we use, we give opportunity to students in a forum. Forum has a very important role to play. It gives confidence. There is a word confidence, which we must know that everything you have to do, you must be confident enough. How do you gain confidence? You gain confidence by practicing what you have learned. If you don't practice what you have learned, then you'll not get any confidence in you. Lastly, because of time, we have foreign teachers. It's not easy to bring foreign teachers here. And some other institutions have brought foreign teachers, but for us, we bring quality. That's the difference quality foreign teachers.
anyone can be foreign teacher but what about the quality quality is very important we have professors we have masters uh, people holding masters we have uh, and uh, degrees so we have what it takes to raise the language and we are not raising the language but we are raising english language because there's a difference between english and english language i want to thank uh, the moderator to give me this chance but allow me to end with one point in frontier college something special there is no age limit anyone can learn at any age if you are given a chance to have something to contribute to the development of Frontier College, come and learn at any age. Viewers, we are telling you this. Frontier College helps everyone at any age to learn English, English language perfectly and very highly. Thank you for listening to me. Well. Thank you. I like the way he is trying to uh, analyze the issues. I want to take you to question two, which has a mind, and it says, Why do you think we have Frontier College, which was founded in 2011? For all these years, down the road, Frontier College has been teaching Somali's English language. But the question is, why do we still have government officials who don't speak English well? Is it good for a country as Somalia in this competing, in this competitive world? Are we safe with such government officials? Absaran, you take us through that question. And Nasir will be the next on the board. Uh, thank you very much to have again this very enormous and uh, like uh, this very outstanding day. And uh, the major, the, okay, the major questions that has been highlighted here is, and uh, like, uh, what do you think that the government officials don't speak English well language, English language well, and basically and essentially, and our government officials and in previously like uh, and uh, normally, and uh, prior to their journey to the government, with the different and variety areas, they were elected not as per their educational background. They were elected due to, uh, like, uh, you know, that uh, that the, the cultural issues, that, that tribe system or like that. So what makes that uh, quite having uh, difficulty and having challenge with a variety of is that, you know, vehemently, they don't have any essential and, and core and competitive knowledge. This really vindicates and really highlights that uh, they don't uh, speak English well. Prior to them, into the journey of the different offices of the government, this really, uh, and, uh, this really indicates a problem, a vast problem th for them, you know, don't have, you know, uh, a competitive knowledge as per to their uh, fellow co-workers. So what, that, what makes them uh, quite uh, having a challenge is that, you know, some of them, you know, like our MPs, member of governments, uh, like uh, parliament, those who normally vote the institution of the countries. You know, when you ask about their knowledge, previously their background, you see that majority of them, majority of them are very, you know, in knowledge, according to knowledge, they, are, they have zero from the grassroots grass root of knowledge. So this creates that a major uh, angles of challenge, a challenge that really, you know, go through a, an era an era of you know challenging from uh, like uh, an institution from uh, from the like uh, different organizational institution to the government so this and and, and it creates not only that uh, a, a, a huge problem to the society but an entire issue to the uh, government officials so what makes them the key highlights is that you know the first is the, they didn't have an, an academic performance that really you know, shows that they are, you know, they can speak English well or like, you know, they can communicate with their co-workers on internationally well. Then the second one is that, you know, prior to their journey to the government, they didn't had any fair, uh, like elections that maybe, you know, that they can had uh, solid and knowledgeable backgrounds that they can at least uh, 
handle this uh, like office. So that is the major issues that, that they can have uh, this uh, very basic and grassroots challenge. Thank you. Well, thank you for... Uh, from foreign countries who have, who look to be having huge money than Somalia have, and we have leaders who don't know English language, they fail to get those funds from abroad due to the fact that they don't have the access of the language, which is English language. Don't you think we are failing in this country economically due to the fact of the language? And how possible do you think we can solve to fetch all those funds from abroad? Thank you. Of economically, which is not quite, you know, we had a, a couple of years, you know, having a, a economically crisis. But what makes us challenged is that though we have a fund from outside internationally and locally, we don't use the money, the budget that we are getting from outside and inside, you know, systematically. So when we are when we are not using the issues like the money and the fund systematically and into a proper way, we cannot have you know our system changed with the shortest time possible. That would creates you know these hurdles. Thank you very much. We are slot on this issue having the government officials who don't know English language as Somalis. Are we safe? I would like to thank everybody who prepared um, these beautiful issues. And I would like to start with the question that we give. The question that we have here is, what do you think that the government officials, the government officials don't speak English? So I think that there are many causes, but I would like to take about some points. And the first point is uh, their education background. Back in the years was not. English and they used to base to another language such as Somali language and you know Italian language so that was the first cause as I think their education background was based to an, 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 an English language such as Somali and Italian and the next point is uh, now we th this generation now uh, in this generation I think that they are leading to a generation that they are all speaking Somali so they they think that they do not need to speak English but the most important thing is that there is no access to the, the a place that they can learn in English but back in here we found Frontier College that we can learn English so I think that was the second cause and the third cause is uh, like they, they, they don't get any foreign helpers and you know when you're learning a foreign language you need to adapt the language so that that's the third question so that's all that i think about why do the, the government officials don't speak english so. well that's nasia taking us through the point of are we safe Yes, no, it's on. Okay, we are going to succeed. We are going to proceed to question three, where we have uh, the question, but I want to first make a point on this. We are free to ask the participants questions if we find it's in it. Is it? Are we having someone missing on question two? Well, uh, we are going to have Abdraziz, who is going to continue taking us on the slot of the same question. Are we safe having government officials who don't know English language? And I want you to speak to us within a short period of time. When you're speaking, please try to make... My name is Abdraziz Abdullahi Abdi. I'm one of uh, Frontier students. I'm very happy to appear here today and share with this uh, great event with my teachers and other students. If I come to back to the question two, which is, why do you think uh, many government officials don't speak English language well? Really, some government officials speak English, but uh, small numbers of them. The other, the rest ones, they speak uh, French, Italy, Arabic and uh, Turkish language. So uh, I think some of them they speak English, but there are only some numbers are not speaking English. And what I want to say, 
there is a proverb which says no one is old to learn so others who are not speaking english they have chance to learn english while they are working thank you very much uh, a question which is somehow interesting but before that we have mr abbas who is going to take us through the same question which is how are we safe with having leaders who don't know english language i think you'll be the last speaker on that you're welcome I'm by the names of Mzei Abbas Sekajigo, Muganda. I'm here to, to talk about uh, uh, why do you think government officials don't speak English uh, very well. Uh, being the fact that we've, we've, we've heard from the background, like if someone studied uh, Somali, and is now in the government and then yeah like the school came up and then you need to look for a way of how you can join Somalia uh, Frontier College and then you get to learn English very well and you speak it very well. Um, then, uh, the third one is about uh, for, uh, English language being a foreign language so we have to adopt to it and we, and we go with what it gives us the, or what it entails us to move with if we want to be on the safe side of it so um, I think uh, with the with the, with those two um, I wish you a very best and uh, if there is anyone who has like a, stu a, a student who would want to learn English Frontier College is there for everyone uh, we have a supplement on that, but due to the point of time, I'm being warned that time is time. Let's go to question three. Uh, we, we have a lot of spices on this so church a touching point that we are discussing about the English language. Now, there is a question that I want someone to answer. It is really inching me. I feel I'm being inched. The question is, those all of you who are here do you think is english language possible to be the second language of this country do you feel it is possible or it isn't if you have a mind that yes it is please could you raise up your hand and i give you this mic can english language be the second official language i have hussein who says yes and i'll give him the microphone to suggest his points why he feels yes it could be Yes, because of the English language can be become the second language. Because of a mission and about for the technology and everyone to be using bad in English. And when it's about time we use in a bar for in a lot of different languages such as Italian and Arabic. But now for the technology, it is using about for in our English. That's why we are saying about it for the second language of English. The most of the population they use in about for us the technology using for the Bible in English, in every kind of using Bible in English. That's why it become for, you know, second language. I'm saying that. Well, who is the next? Thank you very much. That is Hussein suggesting that really it's true English language can be the second language of this country. Uh, I saw, Bashir, you really agree that English is possibly to be the second language of this country. Would you please make your points, your arguments on board and could be recorded and put in our files? Invite people on this table. Uh, uh, the question I was, I was being asked uh, says, can English language be a, a second language in this country? Me, I believe, yes, it can be because of the following factors. The universities that we have and all colleges, their medium of instruction today is English. And all curriculums they use is based uh, English. So, uh, and second is the most students in Somalia, here in Somalia, they learn English. Uh, you may see hundreds of uh, college institutions, maybe uh, students attend to learn English. So. That shows uh, the young generation is in the next years, inshallah, they will speak English and it can be the second language if it is not the first one. So thank you.
Thank you for being a good time keeper. Uh, I have seen also Ibrahim, he's among those who really agrees that really English can be the second language. Please always also be ready to either agree or disagree on that point. We need to see Ibrahim. Always disagree, okay? Disagree. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Ibrahim Mohamed Abdi. I'm among the lecturers of Frontier College. I'm among the lecturers of uh, Frontier College. Uh, English, the question number three says now, uh, do you think now English can be the second language uh, of Somalia? Yes, because of the following reasons. Uh, English, since uh, our former government collapsed, in our country, Somalia, schools and uh, universities now have started now using different syllabuses from different countries and also uh, nations. Uh, our country now started now using uh, some Asian uh, states uh, syllabus and also Kenyans and many other countries. Uh, but English now has become the most important language in our country because now since we lost our curriculum, since we lost now our standard curriculum, we decided now to use English as second language. Now, English now is a medium instruction of all the schools and universities in Somalia. And uh, I advise to Somali youth and citizen, the only place they can learn and get now quality English and holistic education is Frontier College. Frontier College now provides you quality English. Frontier College now connects you uh, with a better English to the world. That is the first reason. Second reason now, English can adopt you with the world. Because wherever you go in this world, we speak English. English now can make you to contact and communicate with the now all uh, people in the entire world. The third reason is English now can make easier for you to get now employment opportunities. Thank you for your time and God bless you all. Well, thank you, Bramo, for that point. And uh, I have seen a ways he totally disagrees that really English can't be the second official language of this country. I'm so much eager to hear the point that he will outline to convince that really the English that I'm teaching in Somalia at Frontier College really can't be the second language of this country. Let's cut for him as you're going to be disagreeing with the point and the issue. Rahman Awis, I'm from one of the students in Frontier College. I would like to mention one of the most important questions, which is, uh, does Somali do you think that uh, English language can be the second language in Somalia? Absolutely not. For the following reasons. To answer my question briefly, it is. And in Somalia, we have an, a colonialism. The, co the colonists is from a uh, British government and Italian government. In the south of Somalia, Italian government have colonized it. So that the medium of instruction here in Somalia, it's not based on English. It's based on Arabic. Because of Somalia, it, it is a member of International League, as all of you know. So it cannot be. So we Somalis, we are a member of International Arabic League. So for all of us, it cannot be the, the, the language of instruction and the, and the medium of instruction here in the city. Because of even the colonists colonized here in the south, they colonized the Italian. And even when the Arab came here, they, 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 they proposed that the Arabic even the system of Islamic is based on Arabic. Thank you very much. Thank you for disagreeing. Uh, you are not alone. We have uh, Jihan. I don't know. Uh, Jihan also, she says English language can't be the official language of Somalia. I want to hear her points as she will be putting across them to us. Madam, you are welcome. Hello, everybody. My name is Jihan. I think English cannot be the second language of Somalia after Somali language because before the government, like this government, I, I mean like the whole government kind of thing, 
like before we used to have a, a Somali language a school which you can go and study the whole curriculum thing in Somali language and the school which you can go and have a uh, Italian or school which you can go and have a uh, Arabic but now since uh, disagree yes, yeah so so I so I think since since our government is actually trying their level best to make it like a better and a qualified education for the Somali generation they, so I think like if they try harder they can make since now Arabic is easier for the generation stuff I they talking to me or what <laughs> so sorry sorry they interrupted me so I think it cannot be since English, Arabic and then Italian, Ital forget about Italian right now, but Arabic and then uh, Somali language, since we have uh, only Somali, uh, Somali education, I mean, w a school which you can study uh, Somali curriculum and a school which you can study Arabic curriculum, but we have a lesser uh lesser schools which you can study uh with uh english curriculum and then the society and the society actually except the young generation young generation are actually really trying their level best to uh, speak more english so for the other generation and stuff they, we have a lot of people who can speak arabic and we have a lot of people who can speak italian and then we have a since Somali is our language, so we also have a Somali language. Uh, so I think English has a lesser chance than Arabic. It might, it might be like the fourth or fifth language, but I don't think it can be the second language. Thank you very much. Madam Kin, she really disagrees with Jaham. So, Kin, do you agree that really English can be the second language of this country? If yes, would you pick and would you give us your point to be put on board on this record? Him? My name is Keen. I'm a former student in Frontier College. It's like uh, I was the second batch in university. It was, uh, I mean, in Frontier College. It was uh, 2014. And it was really good time for me because I couldn't speak English like this. And Frontier made me speak uh, the best and communicate with other people who are from other countries. First, I'll say uh, thank you to Frontier and thank you to all my teachers uh, who made me speak this uh, beautiful language. Uh, I agree because uh, uh, English language is an international language because every country uh, dreams to speak English. Because wherever you are, if you go to any country in the world, you speak English because this is the only language you can communicate. I'm sorry. So uh, my point is uh, English can be the second language and in Somalia now Frontier is the only one can prove and can make a real that dream because everyone is dreaming to speak English and then uh, to speak with other people who are from foreign and can study very well. Because every student you now he, he has to read uh, English every day because he's uh, he's taking uh, in the lessons in English everywhere, like universities, high schools, wherever. So everyone is dreaming to speak English. It depends on how he study. Because if he comes to Frontier, he can be the first one. I'm sure if he comes to Frontier, Frontier is the only one who can make the dream real. Thank you for all. Oh my God. English language can be the second language of Somalia. Question now. Who do you think is responsible of making English language the second language of Somalia? Am I the one who is teaching English language at Frontier College? The answer will be no, because I have no authorities. Question, are they the students that I do teach English language at Frontier College? The answer, I think, is no. Mr. Wilfrod, who do you think should we ask after this debate? Why not English language is the second language in Somalia? Who do you think is responsible to implement the arguments that we have put 
Across. You are welcome. Can I clap for him? Thank you so much, moderator of the day. My fellow members on board, I thank you all for coming. And viewers out there, I thank you too for watching us. Well, my name is Wilbrod Msime Bandari Shafiq, a foreign lecturer at Frontier College of English. To me, I believe English can be made the second language of Somalia and these are the very people who will make it possible or who will make it possible to be the second language in Somalia. So, the first person or the first people I have to put, uh, uh, put forward, first of all, to me, I say it's the government. Whether we like it or not, there are some things if the government is not with with us or if the government is not in line with speaking english there is no way how english will be moved further in any way so for anything to be done the government must be behind secondly stakeholders what do we mean by stakeholders here the key people in our societies have to back up uh, the uh, have to back up and jeer the teaching of English in different uh, institutions within Somalia. If that one can be done, then the possibility of making English the second language in Somalia can really be achieved. The third group of people here who can make it, who can make this dream a reality, are the parents, because it all starts with them. Schools can be begun universities put in place but when parents are not in to bring in their children or their students the possibility of achieving this dream can never be seen so now i request parents out there uh, whoever are watching me whoever are listening to me for this to be a reality we have to make sure that we encourage our uh, children such that they join schools or institutions that do teach English such that this becomes an important thing. Another one, the people who can make it possible, the students themselves or the children. A parent may be interested in sending you to a college or an institute that teaches you English, but when the child or the student is not interested, that one can never be possible. So for it to be very much possible, please, I request, or I, all students are watching me out there, or those one, or those one listening to me. If a parent brings up a suggestion of taking you to any institute that teaches English, most especially Frontier College, I request you please, with one heart, agree and go there. That will help you as an individual and the whole country at large. I'm very happy to bring this one ahead. Whereby, ever since Frontier College started, some of its pioneers have so far made it to the Western world. They have gone to other outside countries and they are making it just because of the English they've learned from Frontier College. So I urge other students out there who feel have uh, the feeling or that strong belief of joining the Western world most of those countries that speak English, please, the base is right here in Somalia, and it's exactly here at Frontier College, the college that truly trains English, of which it's well done by professional lecturers who are not only Somalis, but even foreigners. They come all there from their countries right to Frontier College, such that they have make the dream of most people come true, that is speaking English in uh, Somalia. Maybe before I conclude, I have these few comments to make. Before I conclude, here I will have to give my suggestions on what has to be done to make 
English the second language in Somalia. One of them is to increase the number of colleges from almost everywhere, because Somalia is very big. So, Somalia is very big. As regards Mogadishu, Frontier College is the leading, not only here in Mogadishu, but almost, but almost all across East Africa. So if Frontier has, is in position, make it possible, let it not only be in Mogadishu, but move all, almost everywhere across the country, set up new institutions, uh, set, up, set up institutions, branches that will help preach the gospel, the gospel of uh, English uh, speaking and uh, English speaking are all across Somalia. Then, like again, the government has put in full support in order this one to be achieved. Another one. Another one. This one has to be, this has to be made such that such that English becomes the second language. So I request school owners, mostly Frontier College, I need you to get me very well on this. If you want English really to be the second language in Somalia, you must have to bring in some new things that will interest students, parents, government and stakeholders such that they back up the idea of studying English. And how? You create bursaries. Uh, for students, most of those ones who feel it can never be done, such that when one attains education at free and he learns English, that will motivate others and uh, the dream of making English the second language in Somalia be achieved. With that, I thank you so much and uh, urge you, you the viewers out there, that please do all what you can, join Frontier College, it's the best college that is there to teach you the best English you want with the best lecturers from in and outside the country. I thank you all for listening. English language, the second language of Somalia. What would be the advantage of that? To me, a, a lower Chevrolet member man, me, a man from Kismayo, from different corners of Somalia, what would be the advantage of making English language the second language? Abjali. Would you answer me to that question? What would be the advantages? Thank you. Frontier College students, and in my opinion about how will be the advantages if English language become the second language of Somalia. And as I believe, and, and as we know, English language is an international language. So if our people, their second language become English, I think First, the first advantage is they can interact to the world easily and an enjoyable way. And the second point is when it comes to studies, Somalis mostly they study and the lesson is they take in English, uh, whether it become uh, universities or schools, they take it uh, by English. So if English becomes the second language, I think they can enjoy their studies. And for example, in African countries, there is English is their second language. And I'm sure they enjoy their education and even and interacting to the world. So and our second language now is Arabic. And Arabic, and as we know, and just uh, limited people use this language. And it's not an international language. So I'm sure if English language become our second language, we will get a lot of advantages, like uh, studies, like interacting to the world. So I would like to see that. And how the thing is going now, I'm sure English language will be our second language. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Abjalil, for that point. I come to Bisha with the same question that I want you to answer to us. What would be the advantage of making English language the second language of this country? Do we have any advantage of that? Do you see any? Yes, no. Again, thank all the invited people. Uh, if I go through uh, learning English, we have so many advantages. If you learn, uh, the, there is a question which says, is there any advantages which I get from learning English? So, me, I believe yes. As we are aware of uh, English language is an international language whereby uh, more people spoke, speak. 
Uh, so, uh, if you want to interact with the world, uh, you have to use, uh, or you have to speak English, and English can connect you with the world. Uh, another hand, there is uh, so many books uh, were written, were being written uh, English language. So, if you wanted to be uh, the international writer, uh, there is uh, so there are so many books that you can get a lot of knowledge. Uh, by using English and second uh, also if you wanted to be a uh, international writer or international uh, reporter or something like this English is the only key that you need so I believe uh, English is a most and very uh, really interesting language on the other hand uh, the world conference the international conference held uh, several uh, countries people speak English so that makes you uh, someone who can understand everyone on the other hand if you learn English uh, you may get a lot of people those can understand the language that you are speaking so it makes you to go to the world and everywhere you can everywhere you visit you may you may get uh, someone who can understand your words so I believe English is a best language in this world today thank you then she totally disagrees that having English language as the second language of this country has no any advantage to us. We are Somalis. Kin, what would be your point, please? Put it across to convince Abjalil and Bashil. They try to learn, uh, I mean, to make an international like their, their language. Like, for example, now we have Turkey. Turkish, uh, they are now uh, speaking uh, Turkish anywhere. Like when you want to work with Turkish people, you have to speak English. Uh, I mean, you have to speak uh, uh, Turkish language. So at that time, English has no advantage for being the second. Because in Somalia, every person who tries to uh, make their language like uh, international, like Italian, when you are in Italy, you should speak Italy. You cannot speak English because you can say it's my second language and there's no uh, uh, option for you to say it's my uh, second language. The second thing is, uh, now for, for example, for me, I speak French and I can say my second language is French because French is an international language. Like when you are in Europe, uh, French is the most uh, working language. So like Turkish in Somalia, when you go in Turkey, you cannot study English. You cannot say English is international language, and it's my second lang language. I can I cannot speak because you should speak Turkish. You should study study in Turkish, and when you are in Italy or when you are in Somalia, like most of the people, like older people, they will say Italy is good because uh, so many countries are spoken in Italy. Like for example, uh, people Western in America. They speak Turkish language, and they say uh, Turkish somehow is uh, is only in one country, like when you are in Turkey. But now they are making it as international language. And Somalia, you have no any advantage to work as English uh, speaker. You have to speak Turkish while you can work with the Turkish people. And when you are in French or in France, you have to speak French if you want to work in France, because France is the only language which are working in France, because they say uh, French is the first, second is the uh, English. That's what they say, people who are from France. Thank you. Uh, th th there's a question. Thank you all the participants for your points that you have aired here. Thank you very much. But there's a question that we need to understand. Before, Early 2015, 2016, people were flying from Somalia to other neighboring countries with the purpose of learning English language. But nowadays, they no longer do. I don't know why. Paul, would you tell us the reason why people no longer go abroad to learn English language? Are you the problem or you are the solution of that point? And in the right place and with the right people. And with the Actually, answer. and with the right answer. Down the road. For a couple of years, people have been traveling day by day, every time looking for the proficiency in English language. But uh, since it was a, 
a so serious issue, finally, Frontier College provided the solution. Wow. As we speak now, wherever you go, even people are coming from other countries, they are coming to Somalia to learn English, and where basically Frontier College. Actually, I have made a survey, it is on record. People, students are no longer interested to go for English language in other countries because the solution is provided here near Talehe Frontier College. And uh, even they are trying to tell other people who are outside, even the diaspora boys and girls who come back here, they say, please, we are here for a period of six months. Let us go to Frontier College and we first uh, energize our proficiency in English. So I think th that the element of going abroad to look for the English proficiency, Frontier College is the best solution. And those who have not discovered, please come, this is the time. And I'm very happy because people have embraced it. Actually, Whoever wants to come to learn English, it is none other than the Frontier Press. Finally, finally, where you get comfortability, it's where you go. Because everything, you find it there. People come to Frontier College for English language. Not for other reasons, but because it is the best placement for your comfortability in the language. So please, come, explore the opportunity, and tell your brothers and sisters and your relatives as well that people are no longer wanting to go abroad, but they go there for other issues, business, and other areas of interest. But the area of English language, frontier, period, it's done. Thank you very much. Period. Well, thank you very much. With that closing and answering question uh, that we are posted to you. Now, we have to come to the real life without having fake, but in real life. This is the question. We are summaries. When we are grooming you, let's say as we are growing, as from childhood, we are trained in Arabic language. After Arabic language, we got schools. Our teachers, they do teach us in Arabic language. Question, what would be the challenges that we may find in learning this foreign language, which is English language, which is neither our mother language, but it's a foreign language that we need to acquire in schools, like Frontier College does. Question to Ari, what would be the challenges that students who are learning English will face? And how, what would be the possible solution of that? Thank you to answer this question. Yes. And this is Alnur Jale, a former graduate and from Frontier College. And I am Ali Nur Jale, a former graduate from Frontier College. And I am happy and in this with this assembly. If I come back to the question, and there are many challenges and which the students in Somalia face and because our beloved country was sweltering with the heat of civil wars in since 1991 and and this caused lack of peace that affected students and young generation to learn and any other language such as English and Arabic and that caused uh, the student is to be unable to learn very well and, and, and to be professional to this language. The other and others or the challenges that caused or that face our uh, students are uh, the curriculum because most and uh, colleges in Somalia, their curriculum is not good. They 
they uh, they learn, they teach the student only one or two skills of the and uh, basic skills of the language and this is cause and uh, the student to be weak in learning English other challenges are uh, there is no supportive environment because one uh, the student learning in a language he needs environment that he and uh, practice or she likes to practice or to speak with others and this is not here in Somalia in the last or past years. Others or the challenges that we face when we are students in, and who learn English in Somalia are uh, there is not enough time because time helps the, the, the student to learn the language perfectly. When I come back to solutions, and really I find solution in Frontier College, because it may, Frontier College made the environment English. The teachers they um, they explain the lesson in English. The students they make debates and discussions in English. That proves and, and make is perfect the capability of the student to speak English. And lastly, the last solution is the student must be hungry for learning the language because all they say is hungry breaks stone walls. When the student is hungry for learning this language, we will be or we will be able to learn this language perfectly. Last I, I will say and I, I conclude my words and by, by nature all men are alike but by education wildly different to be unique and different from others come and welcome to Frontier College. Thanks everyone. Today's synod. Hussein, what are your last concluding words as we leave this press? like to be informed for all the students which can be learned from Frontier College to become with us and learn. Because of and, uh, Frontier College still have opportunity for us to be continuous for our study. Whether you are finished or not, in a Frontier have a great opportunity which can be continued for your study. Whether you are finished or not, we have like to be shared with our view minutes of our teachers at any time. Please come to us. This is my and last free environment for our students. Please do the best one that you are like to be seen. Okay, thank you. This house, or you are questioning to someone else here. Is it for the general, or you have someone that you want to answer the question for you? Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, my question is directly to Frontier College community. Great, great. I was. Uh, I'm very happy and uh, very delighted to be here with you in this gathering. It was a very well orchestrated debate and I liked it. Great, great. Uh, I just want to ask you one question, only one question, one bombshell. Okay. Why and what makes you different from other institutions? You are saying Frontier College, Frontier College, Frontier. What makes you different from other other institutions that 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 people will come to you, continue coming to you? Great question. Thank you. Thank you very much. You clap for him for the question. No. There is another. Mohammed, one of the one of the graduates from Frontier College, and I would like to answer the question that um, the question that the master asks us and. The first point that makes us different and, you know, the best college in Somalia is that we have our speaking forum. That's the, the, the unique point we have. You know, there is no college in Somalia that have a speaking forum who gives students a, conf a confidence that they can speak freely and, you know, fluently in English. That's what makes us different. And the second point, wh what makes us different is we got our lectures who are very qualified and, you know, they're the best lectures in all over the world. So I think that 
that's make that makes us different you know we are here we, we can speak english confidently and fluently without shying without you know fearing so i think that's enough that that that's our our mission and our goal so that's what makes frontier different thank you very much we are having obed for the concluding statements as we will be saying bye bye from this press obed Thank you very much. Uh, I want to conclude by saying that this is the right time to talk about these things. Frontier College is the answer to all your worries. Uh, not forgetting that Frontier College is connected with other institutions, big universities in the world that you can think of. Makere University and others, we have International University of, of East Africa, International University of East Africa is connected with Frontier College. Can't we clap for that? Uh, lastly, I don't want to delay very much. Come to Frontier College, you will be the evidence of what we are talking about. Thank you very much. As I told you when we were opening up this show, I told you we will have a critical thinking and a critical answering of questions. And indeed, it was. Because that's my role. My nickname is Abule. I always speak to awaken those who have weak souls. Here we are. We have agreed today that English language is possible to be the second language of Somalia. And the only way to make it is coming to Frontier College and you learn English by foreign lecturers who are in Somalia to expand the knowledge of English language in this country, Somalia. Question. How would one come and find these foreign lecturers? Frontier College is located in Tare, that's Hodan District, near Ramadan Mosque. Once you enter it and you say, I'm looking for Frontier College, I'm sure as death, you there reach the place. The administration is well organized, welcoming, and the services, as you register yourself to the college, you'll really make your dream come true. Each and everyone out there viewing me on this clip, you are welcome to Frontier College. And I sound out saying, uh, Frontier College is the only place to learn English from here and out of Somalia. I will see you next time. And thank you the guys who have been here with me today. You can have a clap for yourselves. We will find out next. See you next time. The blue.